of an uncharted cosmos emerged the genesis of humankind. How did the odyssey of humanity begin? What secrets lie within our primordial roots? As I began to research ancient cultures, I discovered something quite interesting. Most of these ancient cultures all believe that life originated in the Pleiades. When you look at the indigenous North Americans, the Mayans, the Aboriginal tribes of Australia, the Egyptians, and even the Japanese, they all claim that they were seated on this planet by people from the Pleiades. How can people separated by so many thousands of miles in different continents have the same exact story? There must be some fact rooted in the myth. This is the saga of the Anunnaki and their ancient secrets revealed. Get that up, Gray. Hey, babe. Let's take a flight. Yes. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Get that up, girl. Anywhere you are, though. That's what's up. Uh, are you packing your bags? You already know. Get that up, girl. Make your best life. Oh, it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late to make your best life. Oh, I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade. Let me get that upgrade. Make your best life. Biohack my life, biohack your life Biohack my life, biohack your life Biohack my life, biohack your life I know that's right you can say that twice. I write the code. I'ma biohack my best life. Give me the, give me the upgrade. I spent enough days trying to figure out my way. No longer in the maze. Had to get out. My way. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Elizabeth Carson, and welcome to another episode of Biohack Your Best Life. I can't wait to get started on our topic today. We are going to be talking about light and how it is healing. And this right here is Billy Carson, a.k.a. Forbidden Knowledge, a.k.a. my hubby. So, <laughs> yes, we're here again on a Friday evening. Thank you guys for joining us. And thank you guys for being uh, patient with me because I scheduled this for last week's, but stuff kept coming up and then I kept rescheduling. So I appreciate everybody for being patient and yeah, joining us tonight for this episode, because I mean, I, I worked on a whole PowerPoint last week and everything. I had yeah. everything ready to go. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately things just popped up. So, but we're here. We're back. We're back. Yes. And she's got the real science. So tonight biohack your best life is bringing the receipts once again, like I say all the time. There's a lot of people talking, a lot of stuff out there, but we give you enough information and sources that you can always go and do your own research. Don't believe what we say, research what we say. Yes. That's one of the main things I tell people. Don't, you know, listen to me, absorb what I'm saying to you, but definitely make sure that you're doing your own research and coming to your own conclusion, right? Mm -hmm. That's part of being aware and, yeah. you know, coming out of the matrix, right? You can make your own decisions about things. And, you know, we can have difference, differences of opinions mm -hmm. about stuff, right? It doesn't, it's no need for attack or, or yeah. trolling like that. If you think something different than I think, that's okay. I'm just here as a vessel sharing information at my own free will because I love what I do and I love the research. Yeah. So yeah. that's really facts. it. Yeah. Facts. Listen, that's absolute facts. Mm -hmm. And so to, tonight's topic, we're talking about luminous recovery unveiled. Yes. That sounds, that sounds so mysterious. <laughs> it does. I know. <laughs> I know it does. It sounds so good. Real quick before we get started, though, let me see in the chat, right? Let me see in the chat if you guys want to hear our biohack song at the Conscious Awards, because we're making a decision about performances and we might perform the, our biohack song, yeah. but we don't know yet. So let us know in the chat. Put some fireballs in the chat if you guys want to hear uh, Biohack Your Best Life, the soundtrack. It's not a soundtrack, but I guess it's no, the, the single. Track. It's a single. Yeah, the single. Yeah. <laughs> the single. Um, the soundtrack live. to our lives. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, at the Conscious Awards. So let yeah. us know. Let us know. I'm going to play just a little bit of it real quick, you guys, and let us know in the chat whether you want us to do this. Get that up, Greg. Hey, babe. Let's take a flight. Yes. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Get that up, girl. Anywhere you are, though. 
I don't know anywhere right. you are though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna I think, do it. We're gonna I do the we're song. Gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll perform the song. Yeah. At uh, at the Forbidden Conscious Awards. Forbidden. Yes. Yeah. August right. second through the fourth, which we will be definitely getting into that a little bit later tonight. Um, yeah. Super exciting news. Tickets are going to go on sale actually for the actual event next week. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we've been waiting. And we've already been selling tickets to our conference and to our VIP Yacht Cruise. So, yeah. super exciting. It's a weekend event. So, there's VIP tickets available now for the VIP Super Yacht, yacht Cruise going out of Biscayne Bay, Miami. Mm -hmm. Played at dinner. It's going to be a beautiful night. Uh, VIP. It's a it's a upscale buffet. buffet. Yeah, a buffet. Yeah. Upscale, I'm sorry. Upscale, upscale buffet. buffet. I'm yes. sorry. Upscale buffet. Uh -huh. And then we have the conference, the speakers conference. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be man. This whole weekend is going to be mind blowing. Yeah. No, it's yeah. going to be super fun. But yeah. we'll dive into that, guys, in a little bit. Um. All right. About our subject. So light, right? Mm -hmm. Light. Mm -hmm. What is light exactly? What is light? Mm -hmm. I'll photons. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> photons, but there's also different versions or wavelengths of light. So when you get to the wavelengths that a human being can see, we're talking only less than 1% yes. of all available light spectrum. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So we can't see gamma rays. We can't see x-rays. Infrared. Infrared. Uh, you know, and so there's so much that we can't see uh, in, in what we, and, and it's actually a good thing. Because yeah. I think if we can see everything, we can't see ultraviolet, multi-spectrum. It would be overwhelming. It would be too much. Everything would be just blurry at that point, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's so just, it would be just too much input. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So there's a reason why we only get that sliver, that RGB, red, right. green, and blue. Um, but there's so many more wavelengths of light. Mm -hmm. And uh, this light permeates everything. It's everywhere at all times. Yes. And there are certain animals that don't see our spectrum of light. Like there's a certain kind of snake that only sees infrared, mm -hmm. right? That only sees infrared. So if yeah. you're, if you're walking up to this snake and the snake sees you, all they're going to see is a blurb of that, that red, um, yeah, you know, the infrared, heat. the body from, from our body heat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, turtles, they, they wave their way around the world by, electromagnetism that's right so i mean which is a form of light therapy it's all really electromagnetic yeah. um waves so on our light spectrum things that we can see and the things that we can't see so blue light right mm -hmm. has very very um fast waves yes fast waves and they do not permeate our skin into deep tissue layers they no. only hit the yeah. outer layers of our skin right but if you get into a, like a, a red light where the wavelengths are longer yeah they actually can penetrate deeper into your skin and create healing for certain people. Mm -hmm. um, the best light or my favorite light that we receive is from the sun, Yeah, from the sun. And when I was growing up, you know, they, they almost conditioned me to believe that I should not be in the sun, mm -hmm. that I needed to put on loads and loads of suntan lotion. Sunscreen. Yeah, to be able to be in the sun, because if I was in the sun, I was going to get skin cancer, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's false, number yeah. one. Number two, certain people are more prone to skin cancer, paler skin, people with less melanin in their skin are more prone to skin cancer. So those people, yes, would probably need to put on some sort of sunscreen that's not toxic. And yeah. that's a whole nother podcast for a whole nother day. Ooh. But um, that's not toxic. And yeah, they would probably need to protect themselves much more than you would, or mm -hmm. let's say I would. Right. But for people that are more tan skin or darker skin, you need sunlight. We need it. Need it. And you need more of it than the pale person because right. what because of why because sunlight activates the vitamin d pathways in your body right. so that is how you get the best form and yeah of, of vitamin d the most the, the, the most um the best processing of synthesis of vitamin yes. d is yes. going to come from direct sun. sunlight on the skin but because i'm darker and i have more melanin and elizabeth is darker than most people because she's not caucasian she's got brown skin she has melanin. And, and so what happens when that light wave from the sunlight hits the skin, it actually spreads out the wave and disperses it as heat versus letting it penetrate deeper into the layers to create that vitamin D synthesis. So in order for people like us who are darker than uh, people who are pale skinned, you have to get more sun. It's yes. actually healthier for us to get more sun. And like you said, 
you know, when I was a kid, it was taught in my community that like black people, we only go to the beach when the sun goes down because we don't like to be in the sun. We don't mm -hmm. want to be hot. We don't want the sun on our skin. This is what we did in Miami. I mean, this is a this is just an absolute fact. This is we only went. And if you go to the beach right now for a lot of the beach, where does the people from my my skin tone hang out underneath the trees mm -hmm. uh, at the beach? And that's because they don't want the direct sunlight. But that also goes to show the track record of why most black people are lacking vitamin D. Vitamin D. We're deficient. And I was significantly deficient uh, in vitamin D when I did my blood panel years ago. Four, yeah. Now it's going on four years. Yes. And your your skin tone needs about 30 times as much vitamin D as a pale skin person needs yeah. because of the melanocytes that are on the epidermis, on the top layer of your skin. You have many more melanocytes, which are pigmented, mm -hmm. right? So you have much more melanocytes than I do. And I have much more melanocytes than a fair skinned, red haired person right. does. So you need that excess to be able to have your body functions mm -hmm. function as this person over here, whereas this person was in the sun for five minutes, that would do a lot for them. But for you, it probably wouldn't even do much. Yeah. Like you're gonna have to sit in the sun for 20, 30, 40 minutes, a couple times a week to be able to get mm -hmm. the sufficient amount of vitamin D that you actually need. Right. And if you're supplementing with vitamin D, which I do suggest for people that live up, up north or, you know, it's the winter time or overcast skies <laughs> live in uh, Michigan. I call it when I <laughs> when I go back to Detroit, Ooh. there's always a dark cloud of doom <laughs> <laughs> over over in the sky. It's just always, yeah. always so gray there. Um, sometimes for, for the most part, especially yeah. in the winter yeah. um, for you, please, you guys take a supplement of vitamin D and take about three to five times even more if you're darker skinned than what they recommend. Because right. unfortunately- The case study's not done for dark people. Well, it's that, it's the case studies and it's even the products. It's even the products. Like yeah. for instance, in this community, especially not this specific like yeah. forbidden knowledge, but the biohacking community, they have not done enough research on, on other ethnicities. Number one, case studies, not not enough. Yeah. And number two on women. No but that's women. a that's a whole nother podcast for yeah. another day, which I will get into one of these right. days. No test studies on women at all. Exactly. But let me tell you something. So there's something called the whoop band. Right. And I, it's a, a biometric system that, that basically shows you and measures your biometrics so you can become more self-aware, kind of like the, the ring that that Billy and I wear to give us our biometrics. Mm -hmm. Right. But the whoop band, it measures by green light. It measures by green light. Yeah. So green light, because of the melanocytes on more darker skin people and the amount of melanocytes on the skin, it actually blocks the, the green light from testing where it needs to go to be able to really test what it needs to do. Like right, to get the data. Yeah, to get the data heart. because you, the skin is basically blocking a lot of that. So a lot of the, the whoop measurements are incorrect for, for darker skin people. Correct. They should note that. On these different yeah. tools, they right. should know. Say, they hey, just want to make the sales exactly. This it measures by infrared and red light, and mm -hmm. that goes deeper into the the skin. And you know, infrared can honestly even hit deeper layers into tissues. Even we we have photons hitting us all day. They mm -hmm. even go into your bone marrow, That's into right. your bones. They penetrate. Yes. It's always penetrating us. Mm -hmm. All of this light is always penetrating us, even if we can't see it. Yep. And down to the, the bone, okay? This is deep. And what I just learned today when I was doing research before this podcast mm -hmm. is that light is the most precise way to heal and to change your biology of uh, in your body. Mm -hmm. It is the most precise way thing that you can do for yourself because light is able to, the photons are able to even reach inside of your cells and hit specific organelles within your cells, yep. which organelles are basically like the mitochondria, the nucleus, the, you know, different, different basic organs for your cell, just yeah. as like we have organs in our bodies, right? Yeah. Our bodies, cells have organs, our cells have organs yeah. as well. They call it organelles. So yeah, specifically red light therapy and, and near infrared light therapy actually penetrates into the cells yeah. and stimulates the mitochondria to create more ATP, mm -hmm. which is very, very, very beneficial. Cause what is ATP? That's energy. Yeah. Right. So if you don't have enough ATP in your system and your mitochondria is not functioning to, at its at its optimal level, then you're going to be sluggish 
your cells are going to have more turnaround if they're not going to be as healthy mm -hmm. the, because your, your functions inside of your body are not working as well because right. of you're not, you don't have enough energy mm -hmm. for the processes to work. Yeah. Your cells can't even clean themselves out Yes, when they have not, when they, they don't have enough ATP, there's not enough energy for the mitochondria to do its job. Yes. And if it can't, become the battery of the cell, the cell can't function properly. Mm -hmm. And so the cell is just a fractal of you and also a fractal of the universe as a whole. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So speaking about infrared and red light therapy, mm -hmm. um, for those of you that are darker skins, it's going to affect you differently, right? And then this is not even in any type of research or anything public that I've, I've found yet. Yeah. It was actually discovered not discovered, but I would say this is his hypothesis by someone we were working with that was making our red light panels. And he right. came to me and he was, he's a scientist. And he was like, you know, I don't think that red light is going to be as beneficial for darker skinned people than it is for lighter skinned people for exact, the exact reason we were just talking about, mm -hmm. because that red light is going to get caught on the top of the skin and it's not going to penetrate deeper into the tissue yeah. where the benefits of a very pale skinned person would get a ton of benefits. Mm -hmm. It's going to not be able to yeah. go it's down deep in layers. It's going to spread out and disperse as heat, mm -hmm. which is why you have to use infrared mode yes. if you're dark skin. So when I use the red light panel, I use the infrared mode because I know that, that those wavelengths will penetrate through to the deeper layers. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So if you guys are darker skinned and don't um, feel very much benefit when you do red light therapy, I've talked about this for years, um, then that's probably why you're probably going to want to use more so of the near infrared light, which is I think 880 NMN, which is the wavelength. Um, and I think red is like four or five something. Um, can't really remember at the moment, but these, um, yeah, these different lengths and waves will hit your body at different, um, places in your tissue. So let's kind of get a picture of this. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, yes, today's episode is called Luminous Recovery Unveiled. Discover the astonishing healing power of light therapy. So awesome. All right. So just a couple facts about what light therapy is. It uses light and wave, light waves and particles to um, at photons to act. I'm sorry. Light therapy utilizes photons, which are discrete packets of light that act as both particles and waves. So that's how they, you know, are mm -hmm. able to either hit your skin and not go any deeper or they're able to penetrate deeper even into the bone. Right. Um, light therapy stimulates mitochondria, which we just talked about. Um, by absorbing light photons, mitochondrion cells are stimulated to increase ATP production and other beneficial metabolic effects. So this is what I'm saying, guys. It's so interesting and precise mm -hmm. because this light therapy can can penetrate your body into each single cell and hit your mit mitochondria, which is an organelle inside of your cell and increase ATP production. This mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah. What other therapy can do that? Light therapy is, I mean, listen, that's non-invasive. I, I know. mean, it's invasive, but not invasive. Right. Nobody has to cut you open. It does, the, it does the job on its own and you can't even feel it. Yes. I know it's deep, except maybe you'll feel some heat. You'll, yeah, you'll feel the heat and you'll, but and you'll feel better. Yes, but, exactly. You know, and so that's what it is. We need light. We need light. Light therapy and frequency therapy are the therapies of the future. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what else is light therapy? Light therapy uses lasers, LEDs, or broadband lights. Different light therapy devices use laser light, LEDs, or broad spectrum light sources to deliver targeted or whole body photo biomodulation. Photobiomodulation is a fancy term for light therapy, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and it's becoming much more popular, you guys. Within the past 20 years, I mean, lasers have really come oh, out yeah. and become super popular. Mm -hmm. And I mean, red light therapy is talked about so much more. And at this point, we actually have thousands of studies, yeah. thousands of case studies about light therapy, specifically red light therapy and the benefits of it. Photobiomodulation. This is a treat ther ther a treatment, which is light therapy that uses low level lasers or light emitting diodes to emit light in the red and near infrared spectrum. The light is aimed at stimulating healing and repairing damaged or dying cells. 
The process is believed to improve cell function, enhance healing, reduce inflammation, and alleviate pain by boosting the production of cellular energy and modulating other cellular activities. Photobiomodulation is used in various medical and therapeutic applications, including wound healing, muscle recovery, pain management, and reducing inflammation in various conditions. I do want to point out about this that they're talking about near infrared and red light, but yet the other lights that mm -hmm. we can even see are therapeutic, yeah. like blue light. Blue light is antibacterial, antimicrobial. Right. So if someone is sick, I actually have these. The, you remember? Yeah, I have the blue <laughs> light things you put them in your nose and stuff. <laughs> so I have these little light <laughs> diodes, guys. Yeah. I have these light diodes that you can stick up your nose, right? And it goes straight into your nose cavity mm -hmm. and it even can hit your brain. So in those diodes, I have blue light, red light, green light, and I think one other light, um, I think heat, I think infrared. Yeah. Um, so when I was feeling a little bit sick on one of the trips, we were out of the country, I stuck those things up my nose. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I turned on the green light and then I did a session green. I did a session blue. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I felt so much better the next day. Yeah. Like it cleared yeah. up my sinuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, the stuff it just works. looks crazy, but it's, uh, it, it looks works. so crazy. You guys, <laughs> it was, it was so freaking crazy because these people were on our bus. It was in Egypt. Remember? Yeah, I know. They were looking over at me like, what? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> these things were in my nose. <laughs> Oh my God. It all lit up. Your nose was glowing. <laughs> I look like when I use the red, I look like red nose rain. But rain it was, uh, it, it's light therapy and it worked. It is. It is. It killed the bacteria and viruses right yes. there on the spot without it medicine. It did. Um, look at this picture on the right hand side, you guys. This is a cell. And as you can see, inside of the cell, you have all of your organelles. How cool. I actually took a, um, a course at Harvard and it was focusing all on cell biology. So I, this stuff is so interesting to me because it's literally a universe in itself. I mean, everything is a fractal. Yep. Cells have organs, we have organs. If you even take it, like pull it back out to the planetary spectrum. I mean, this is like the universe within a universe within mm -hmm. a universe yeah at to the smallest level mm -hmm. so crazy. Yeah. Um, but you can see that this um, light therapy goes past the layers, the different layers of your skin into tissue, right? So that square at the top or that line at the top, that's the epidermis? The the epidermis at the very, very okay. top. And then you get yeah. the dermis and then I forgot what this layer is called, but right. yes. I mean, the deeper you go and then underneath the skin, the tissue is really where you want the stuff to hit. I mm -hmm. mean, unless you are trying to create collagen, which right. red light therapy and for people that are very fair skins, you guys have the best benefit from this. You mm -hmm. guys can literally create red from red light therapy collagen stimulation mm -hmm. into your skin yeah. which helps with wrinkles fine lines um wound healing mm -hmm. um so many different things that it that it helps with yeah um so the benefits it reduces inflammation relieves pain promotes tissue repair increases blood flow and improves skin health improves skin health i just said that i just mm -hmm. talked about stimulates collagen production mm -hmm. i did notice um i'm not as much into um, my structured mornings as I used to be. So I'm not mm -hmm. doing red light therapy as much in the mornings, but there was about a good period of time, probably about a year and a half that I was doing it every single day. That's true. Every day I would wake up and I would go meditate with my red light therapy panel and just mm -hmm. sit there in the mornings. And I did notice an increase in, in collagen in my skin. Mm -hmm. I, I really, guys, <laughs> I noticed that I noticed an improvement in my skin tone, mm -hmm. um, any sunspots or, you know, anything hyperpigmentation really diminished. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably from tissue repair, right? Yeah. It turns tissue over. It turns yeah. skin over faster. Generating fresh skin. Yes, because you have the energy now to do so because of why? Because of the mitochondria creating more ATP. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, applications. So we just said wound healing, joint pain, skin conditions, hair regrowth. That's another big one. This can actually stimulate hair growth yeah. for people. Yeah. I've seen hair. I've seen red light therapy caps that yeah. you put on to stimulate hair growth. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And again, I wish that they would do more research on you know, different skin types because mm -hmm. it's not fair. It's like, I want to be able to stimulate right. my hair grow to be super thick, just like, <laughs> a, just like a, a fair skin, redheaded person yeah. would. I mean, you as a fair skin, redheaded person get the most benefit from mm -hmm. red light therapy. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this helps cognitive performance, mood disorders, and muscle recovery. Let's talk about mood disorders really quick. So we did talk about the sunlight and vitamin D early, yeah. earlier. So vitamin D is a huge, huge factor in people's moods. If mm -hmm. people are low in vitamin D, you can expect that person to be a little bit down, to be mm -hmm. a little bit depressed. Yep. Um, even people have seasonal mood disorders, right? Depression when it comes to winter. I had a touch of that when I was living in Detroit. I had a touch of that. Mm -hmm. I would have to try to take as many vacations during the winter as possible because I need sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need it badly or else I feel bad. And I mm -hmm. think that has a big thing to do with the fact that I was not getting enough vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And muscle recovery. This really does help muscle recovery too. Sometimes when I would work too, out, too hard at the gym and let's say I had a calf day or something and I would put my panel right up against my calves, mm -hmm. it would really, really help reduce that pain. Yeah. So it's, really, really beneficial in that. When I had a, um, a pulled muscle in my calf, when I would sit at my desk, you'd put the red light oh, yeah. right up to my leg. Yeah. So while I'm working at my computer, I was getting the infrared mode going deep penetrating directly into the torn calf muscle. Yes. And you can actually stick that panel right up to your skin yeah. when you're using the near infrared mode. But do not do that if you're using the red light as well, because you will burn yourself. Yeah. You can put the red light panel maybe six inches away from your skin and also know that the farther away the panel gets, the more the waves disperse yeah. and the photons disperse. So the less you're getting it into you. That's why you have to go to a place to do actual laser therapy where they're doing targeted stuff mm -hmm. within you. So I like, I actually got my brain lasered before, which was super cool. I felt like a little tingly. <laughs> um, it was super cool, but I felt like my brain fog was reduced for yeah. like the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I know it did something for me. Um, yes, here we go. Red light therapy for melanated skin. So as you can see, this is the different wavelengths of light. This is where they hit you at mm -hmm. as a very fair skin person. Um, red light therapy may have varying effects on different skin types, and it's often noted that it can be less effective for darker skin tones. The primary reason is that higher melanin con content in the darker skin. Melanin is a pigment that gives skin its color to provide a natural protection against harmful effects of UV light. However, melanin also absorbs light in the red and near infrared spectrum, which is the range used in red light therapy. In darker skin, the increased melanin absorbs more of the red and near infrared light, reducing the amount of light that penetrates into the deeper layers of skin or tissue. This can decrease the effectiveness of the therapy because, um, because less light reaches the targeted cells or tissues to produce the desired biological effects, such as stimulating cellular energy production, reducing the inflammation or promoting healing. Yeah, absolutely. So it's important to note that uh, while the efficacy of red light therapy might be affected by skin pigmentation, it does not mean it is complete, completely ineffective yep. for darker skin individuals. The degree of impact will vary and there may be benefits still, uh, albeit potentially to a lesser extent compared to a lighter skinned person. So you can still get the benefits of the red light therapy, but what we do recommend is that you put it into infrared mode and that's what I use. And I'm, I'm obviously pretty dark. <laughs> uh, and it works for me. It works for me because I'm using it the right way. I understand that the red light is going to bounce off or spread out for as heat, but the infrared is going to penetrate. Yes. Oh, and to correct myself from earlier, near infrared, 810 nm to 940. Those are the wavelengths. Red light is 630 nm to 660 nm. Um, green light is 528 nm, uh, blue light is 415 to 470, and UV, which we cannot see, is 10 to 380 in your wavelength. As you can see, the epidermis is the top layer, the dermis is the next layer, and then you have the sub-Q tissue. There we go. Bone and uh, muscle and then bone. Um, let's talk a little bit about LifeWave. So... LifeWave patches. I've been using these patches for, man, it's been almost a decade, almost a decade. And when I don't use them, I mean, I've gone years, years without using these things. Mm -hmm. When I don't use them, can I notice the difference? Holy crap. Yeah. 
So it was so crazy because Billy and I have been doing this for a very, very long time, mm -hmm. ever since I probably first met him. Um, but we really got on it when your back started really bothering you. Yeah. And I remembered, I'm like, wow, I have these patches they, mm -hmm. that could help. You know, of course, you, you're very you're skeptic. Everyone's a skeptic. Like, how is this little tiny little patch thingy going to ever do anything for right. me? Right. Like, okay, whatever. So <laughs> you're just trying to make me happy. I gave you one, you put it on. And then I put mine on. Yeah. And literally within an hour, I started feeling my energy. I started feeling clear minded. Mm -hmm. I was like, holy crap, yeah. this is exactly what I've been missing. Yeah, those lightweight patches, I don't know. I, I, it's, I'm still <laughs> trying to get it, but the in, the the result is almost instant. Mm. You know, you, you, when I have a story, I was in a car accident, which tore a ligament in my lower back in 2017. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it's been like, it's been a struggle, struggle, struggle. I just got stem cells injected about a month and a half ago, and I'm going back for my second follow-up mm -hmm. stem cell injection. And I feel a lot better now, but I'm still not where I was when I was younger. Uh, but these life wave patches, they, they literally take away the pain in that area, not just for, uh, you know, a, a few minutes, mm. but for a day, day and a half. It yeah. really significantly reduces the amount of pain. And it's almost like you're getting this regeneration mm -hmm. in that area, which is crazy. Yeah. Well, you do, depending on what type of patch you get. So for you guys that don't know about life wave, Life wave are basically here. I can show you guys if you're it's this, this little tiny, this little tiny patch right here. It's like a sticker and it's fabric, right? And it's little tiny crystals that are woven into that fabric that reflects your body light back into your body to specific measures to stimulate certain things like glutathione, like stem cell production like mm -hmm. there's many many others yeah. many others they actually did a study with the glutathione patch that within 24 hours of wearing the patch the person's glutathione levels went up 300 percent 300 percent show me studies. show me where else you can get some glutathione that's gonna exponentially increase in your you body not, like that because you, you cannot it. take glutathione in such a, a very like like you can't absorb it. So well, if you it's buy a, very, a pill, it's not going to work. Yeah, it's it's very, very, the, the molecule of glutathione is like very, very weak. So mm -hmm. it, it'll break and you just won't get it. Yeah. So your your acid is going to tear that glutathione up. So don't ever, you guys, don't be buying glutathione pills. No. Um, if you want glutathione like through orally, I mean, the liquid I would suggest. But still, at that point, you're really not getting you know, the bioavailability is not there. No. It's not there. You either have to get it injected or you have to do an IV and have it pushed mm -hmm. or light therapy. Light therapy. Light therapy. <laughs> These life wave patches. Yeah. Life, life wave does it. Freaking amazing. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. they have many, many studies behind the effectiveness of life wave. I use X39 and what X39, what, what they're known for is it creates stem cell growth. Mm -hmm. So with, with your back, I was like, this is obviously going to help. Why? Yeah. Because it's going to actually help not only address the pain because it's going to lower inflammation because mm -hmm. it's basically reflecting the light back into your body. That's going to make your functions function optimally, mm -hmm. but it's also going to heal at the root of the problem. Yep. It's not just going to band-aid the problem. It's going to heal the roots mm -hmm. of the problem, which is torn ligaments and things that bad that are back there that are injured. Yeah. But stem cell production, by increasing stem cell production, you're actually healing the problems that you're having. Mm -hmm. Freaking amazing. That's no, amazing. I mean, every day, you know, I was, a, I was such a huge skeptic in the beginning. Yes. And now yeah. I go, I need to, I need to know one of those patches. <laughs> yeah. Especially when I have a, I know I'm going to have a very long day or, you know, a, a complete workout. I'm going to go walk like tomorrow morning. I'm going to walk five miles. Yeah. So I get my sunlight, my vitamin D. I go for walks in the sun uh, and, uh, you know, I do my five mile walk. And I know, hey, let me get that patch because I know I'm going to need that patch. And that patch is going to make me feel so much better, allow me to get through that walk. As it's reducing inflammation, which is the root cause of all illnesses pain. Yeah. and pain, and is pain. inflammation. Yes. And also, it's going to help stimulate stem cell production. Yes, yes. And how does this work, guys? What does it actually do inside of your body? 
the X39 patch, and note that there is many different types of patches that stimulate different things, but this is specifically talking about X39, which is my favorite patch that stimulates stem cell growth. So what this does is it increases levels of copper peptide in the body, specifically known as GHQ, GHK, dash cu copper tripeptide dash one you might recognize that because we were taking that as a peptide for a while we were taking the peptide yes right. yes we were also taking this orally guys yeah. um uh this is a naturally occurring copper complex with a peptide that has various biological effects including promoting healing reducing inflammation and stimulating collagen production how does it work the patch is designed to be activated by body heat which causes it to emit specific wavelengths of light or photonic energy the light or the emitted light induces a form of photobiomodulation where light energy interacts with cells and leads to various biological responses. In the case of X39, this interaction is said to stimulate the skin and underlying tissues. The X39 patch stimulates the body's natural production of copper. The mechanism explains light energy from the patch can influence cellular functions in a way that promotes the synthesis or release of GHK slash CU, the copper peptide, in the body. Mm -hmm. um, this is known for its ability to, pr to promote healing, improve skin regeneration, and stimulate collagen production. So this patch, it gives me so much energy. Yeah. So much energy. I can literally go through my day without feeling lethargic after we eat lunch yeah. or, you know, after a workout. We I don't haven't, really... been, haven't had to take those um, right. um, little, naps. little naps, little power naps or mm -hmm. anything, nope. you know, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Today's going to be a very busy day. Mm -hmm. You know, we start off really early. Yeah. You know, we get picked up at seven o'clock in the morning, typically on a Saturday morning, 730 at the latest. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the beach and we, you know, we get get out there in the sun. Yeah. And we go for this extremely long walk mm -hmm. at a high pace. Yes. And uh, and then we have so much more we're doing on that same day. But by the end of the day, we're still going to be up and going. Yes. We're not going to stop probably in terms of shutting down mm -hmm. probably till about 10 o'clock. Yes, yeah. exactly. So we're going to need the patch. Yeah. But I, you know what? I noticed that break that we took because I was not feeling as energetic. And I also noticed when I when I consistently use the X39 patch, I'm I'm slimmer, mm -hmm. not in the bad way of slimmer, yeah. but like I'm noticing that my body is more fit. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing that my workouts are are greater, more productive. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. and pain in my body reduces. Mm -hmm. So this thing, I'm I'm telling you guys, it's freaking magic. It's pretty amazing. They yeah. have specific patches for pain, actual yeah. pain, which I actually have that too. So next mm -hmm. time your back hurts, let's hope it doesn't ever again. Yeah. But if I'm it on, ever I'm does, I'm on the right track now. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you I are. saw somebody asking, how can they get the patches? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, how? yes. If you guys want to get the patches, let me, yes, I'll drop uh, my link in here. Gift done 83 is asking if I still do the elixir of gold. Yes, I do the gold and the silver. We have it on our website on forbiddenknowledge.com. And so you can imagine we have you know, all those products right here. <laughs> so uh matter of fact there's a bottle right here somewhere inside this room yeah we I use that every day table. guys and that's actually let's talk about that a little bit because what does that do inside of your body as well as colloidal silver well these these are basic i mean they're they're bright right yeah. light bounces off of them right. photons bounce off of them mm -hmm. which creates an even more benefit when you're doing light therapy mm -hmm. when you take this stuff yeah because you're having more more reflection in your body, so it's able to disperse in all different yeah. places. I mean, you have gold nanoparticles yes. and colloidal silver nanoparticles. Yes, exactly. And the photons bouncing off of them, it creates this chain reaction in the body. Yes. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I, I attribute the majority of my health and the status that I'm at right now to a lot of the biohacking tools that I've gotten from Elizabeth and the colloidal silver, the gold, and all the little things that I've done over the years. You know, my choices that I've made in terms of what what I want to eat, what I won't eat and things like that. You know, and obviously I was on that bad vegan diet for a long time, which had me so sick and so ill. But bouncing back and just looking at my age that I am right now and realizing, like, wow, I'm in pretty good shape, you know, for my age. I mean, I go out and play basketball with college kids and teenagers for hours. Mm -hmm hours to the yes. point where they're tired and i'm still going you know? yeah yeah you do and let's talk about your biological age yeah biological age is not my age so my real yeah. age i'll be 53 in september but my biological age is in the late 40s mm -hmm. so 
and I can continue to get that biological age to go further back. Yes. The more we do this type of stuff, yeah. like we're going to test again. That was almost a year ago, almost a year ago that we tested. Yeah. So we're actually getting ready to test again to see if we brought your biological age even younger. Mm -hmm. What is biological age for people that might not know? Yeah. That is your internal age. Yeah. How is your body functioning? Where is your body? Like how is your, your internal functions where are they at as mm -hmm. far as on the aging scale? Because they you know aging is actually a disease. They call yeah. it a disease. Well, it is a disease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you're degrading. Yeah. Degrading. But guess what? For you, and I've mm -hmm. noticed I've watched you since mm -hmm. I've seen you. I've seen you go like this. Yeah. You guys have seen it. I know oh, you yeah. have. I'm going, I'm elevating. Like I'm straight elevating right now. Yes. And I'm on a path now where I'm beginning to feel like I was younger than I was 10 years ago. I'm feeling it. I'm looking it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, man, it's just a great, great time to be alive. Yeah. You know, we uh, we were out at the, we were in the Keys about a week ago. And I, I told uh, our son, you know, we're going to take you to the park to play some basketball. So we brought our basketball with us. Mm -hmm. And we went and found a park. And I'm out there with our, our chauffeur, bodyguard, and, uh, and, and our son. And, I, you know, I wasn't feeling the greatest that day just because I did have a headache from something else. But I still was able to play yeah. at a very high level. Yeah, you did yeah. that crazy back layup thingy like that. <laughs> it's like I was in the car watching them. I was like, yeah. I don't but, know what he's but the point I'm making is, is like, a, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of the people in my age group was like, man, just forget getting out and running on concrete yeah. and playing and shooting hoops for an hour in the hot sun. It's just not going to happen, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, so I'm just, I mean, I'm blessed. I'm so happy that. Um, that I've been doing all this biohacking and I've been uh, practicing what I preach and yes. watching what I eat. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we just put a schedule together today to talk about putting me in the hyperbaric chamber that we have mm -hmm. upstairs and getting in that chamber for a couple hours, you know, several times a week, yeah. probably six, spending six hours a week in the hyperbaric chamber so I can saturate my, saturate my body in oxygen. Mm -hmm. That's going to reduce my biological age of my organs. Yes, yes, yeah. because now you're able, your circulation is going, it's increasing your blood flow. Yeah. So now your blood is able to bring the nutrition where it needs to go to all parts of your body because you're getting enough oxygen there, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's incredible. I can't mm -hmm. wait. I've done the hyperbaric maybe four or five times in my life and I need to do it as well. Yeah. Um, but I've noticed that the hyperbaric could really, really helps as far as um, thinking goes. Mm -hmm. Because if you ever have parts of your brain that are not active because of blood flow issues, if you have blood flow issues in your brain, the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, you need it, okay? Because this will push blood to all parts of your brain. Yeah. And it can actually heal your brain. You you had injury, mm -hmm. an injury. You had a brain injury. Yes, on your the top of your head mm -hmm. where um, your navigation center is yeah. located in your brain. You had no blood flow there. But a year later, you have perfect blood flow there. Perfect blood flow. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Well, Dr. Amen, who is a psychiatrist, I think he's the number one psychiatrist, in my opinion, in the world. One of the first things he recommends, he writes a prescription for his patients who have brain injuries to get into a hyperbaric chamber. Yes. And who are his clients? The NFL. Mm -hmm. Who gets the most concussions? The NFL players. And so his his job, his task is to help bring their brains back. Mm -hmm. And he puts all of them in hyperbaric chambers, hyperbaric yes. oxygen chambers. Absolutely. So we got one ourselves and that's what we use. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, OK, so back to LifeWave. So, guys, don't get put off by this. Um, it is like it's it's not really an MLM, but it is kind of like a marketing thingy because you can sign up and then you can become a distributor, which I did because it really changed my life. But. I'm presenting this to you guys, not for that fact. I'm presenting this to you guys because this works, okay? So don't, don't, don't like, just try it. Try one month, right? Try one month, get the X39s because I think that it's um, probably the patch that will do the most for you because it's the one that they launched with. It's the one they have the most research behind. And I've seen it work miracles with every single person that I've put on it. So try it for a month. Don't sign up for anything um, and just see how it goes. OK, don't get put off by the whole thing they got going on, because yeah. this stuff really freaking just works. Just try the product. It works. If it works for you. It works. If and it then, doesn't, it doesn't. Exactly. And then also, if you're skeptical, check out the, the case studies. They're right there on the site. 
right there on the site. Okay. So you guys can see the increases of glutathione mm -hmm. and different things that they have. So um, they actually are, they, they launched this new patch called the energy enhancer. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a swim team, like an Olympic swim team. They had all put on the patch and I guess they all beat their records and wow. then created new world records or something yeah. crazy. Um, so athletes are starting to use this energy patch. A lot of athletes have it because yes. uh, our masseuse that we have that comes and give me a sports stretch usually twice or three times a month and gives Elizabeth a massage. She works. She 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 does the same stretches for the Miami Dolphins or NFL team. Um, and that's, that's literally how I found her through somebody else that was working with her that stretches the Miami Dolphins. I needed a professional to work on my stretching and so forth. So that's what we got her. Um, but she wears the patches, but also all the athletes that she stretches, these are NFL players. They all wear the patches too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She was so surprised <laughs> yeah. when she saw the patch. She was like, what is this? She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you are this too. Of course I do, because yeah. it literally changed my life. And if you guys ever peep, if you ever see a patch, right, that looks like this, it's just a little white circle, okay? If you ever see that on anybody, that's a life wave patch, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's a life wave patch. That person is getting light therapy. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a patch you wear 13 hours on, and then you know for the rest of the day, you take it off. Um, that's because you don't want your body to get used to it. So it kind yeah. of you know will stop continuing to produce. So you want to give it breaks in between. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's freaking phenomenal. Yeah, just drop the link for them. Drop the link one more yeah. time. I've been dropping it periodically, paste. Um, okay, so that's enough about LifeWave. You guys check it out, check the site out. Um, lots of information there. Mm -hmm. Lots, lots of information. Yeah. Um, let's talk more about gold and silver mm -hmm. and methylene blue. Do you guys know what that is? Methylene blue, because we've been taking that lately. Yes. <laughs> it's a nootropic. It is amazing for your brain pathways. Um, and one of the best protocols that I think I've tried is methylene blue, gold and silver, red light and near infrared light therapy, and the hyperbaric, mm -hmm. all in one day. Yeah, that yeah. right there, you you turn into X Man, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turn into X Man. Um, yeah, it's powerful stuff. What's your experience with methylene blue? It's actually called Lumitol Blue. We take Lumitol Blue bars. Yeah. Um, you cut it up into these little tiny chunks and. Uh... It's a nootropic. You take it, you, you know, ingest it orally. And it, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's for clarity of mind. It gives you the uh, capability of being clear minded. Uh, it's not a drug, by the way. It's not a drug. It's a natural supplement. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just uh, it's something that I think everybody needs. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know about it until you brought it to me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's pretty the pretty crazy side effect. Your urination is going to be blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> for about a day and a half. <laughs> I was like, first what time, the hell is going I know, on? The first time, the first time I tell you, they don't, they don't tell you this in the notes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't tell you this in the notes. I went to the bathroom. I'm like, am I, do I have a disease? <laughs> am I going to die? I mean, I'm so confused. Bright blue, too. Like, bright blue, yeah, you guys. But uh, just, for a day, just for a day and a half. But yeah. the health benefits of it are just astounding. Yeah. Look into it. You, maybe you can type it or tell them exactly how to spell what the spelling is. Cause, oh, um, man. Meth yeah. uh, it's methylene. Methylene. Is that how you spell methylene? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that this Blue. is the way you spell it, guys. I'm pretty sure that this is it. Yeah. Um, so basically what methylene blue is. So back in the day, they were curing malaria. It's actually a malaria treatment. And they were noticing beneficial side effects on top of the fact that it actually cures malaria, gets rid of malaria, and the fact that it helps neural pathways. Mm -hmm. Right. It helps neural pathways. I mean, my brain function has gone up since I started this yeah. and, you know, weekly. I mean, you don't want to necessarily take it every single day no. or we don't personally take it every single day. No. Um, I don't think that there's enough research out there for us to take it every single day. I mean, you need to have a little bit of space in between. So we take it maybe three times a week. Yeah. But I do notice that after I take it for the next couple of hours, I'm on point when it comes to our work. Man, mm -hmm. I'm like super focused yeah. <laughs> super no, it's focused. pretty cool stuff and it's not a drug right uh and um uh, it just it works it's uh it's pretty interesting just another thing to use to enhance enhance yourself and uh 
you know, uh, we've got we have we have to have a a very good memory, and we have to be able to retain a lot of information in, in the work that we do. You know, and I mean, Elizabeth laughs because I have so many books around here. She never sees me reading any of them, but I know everything in every book. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy, so, man. you know, I, I mean, it's, you know, but but again, it's it's um when you, you have to work on your mind. You know, we most people have spent the first half of their life just in, you know, eating for fun and doing whatever they want for fun, mistreating their bodies, mistreating their biological systems. And when you get to a certain age, at some point you got to realize, man, we have to stop doing this. We got to flip the switch. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, the second half is going to be uh, kind of dull because, mm-hmm. you know, like I see some people, man, that I know from back in the day, wheelchairs, tracheotomies, mm. diabetes, cancer, high blood pressure, kidney failure. I'm just going, my goodness what is going on Mm. some things you can control some things you can't control so i choose like let me control as much of the things that i can actually control yeah because there's going to be some things that are going to hit me that i can't control like this back injury i got from that car accident Mm -hmm. i couldn't i couldn't control that right so uh but what i can control is i can control not becoming obese because if i become obese my back injury is going to become worse Little things like that. You have to understand there's a little give and take here and there. You got to make conscious decisions on what you do in your life and how you move in this universe. If you want to maximize your life, especially when you're on the side going towards the upper years, you don't want to, you don't want to have people changing your diapers. You just don't want that. No. And and speaking of obesity, uh, the, the brain and people who are obese is 8% smaller than a brain of a person that is not obese. So That's let's a real scientific study. Think about that for a second as well. Um, but let's get back into, um, let's get back into what you were talking about. So things are expensive guys. You know, these, these life wave patches, they're not cheap. No. They're not cheap. Either is our methylene blue that we get either is the hyperbaric oxygen chamber that we got here, but guess what that's going to do for us. It is going to prevent disease. It's going to prevent these ailments from later happening mm-hmm. because now we have ways to heal ourselves. Yeah. And and you don't, like you said, you don't want to be 70 years old and someone's wiping your butt for you. No. Horrible. That's a horrible way to live. I don't want to do it. And for real, I think that your biological age in the next three to five years, we can get your biological age back into your 30s. I yeah. promise. Oh, I believe That's a it. goal. I, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> Benjamin Button life. Yeah. Look I at him. Know. Benjamin Button. If I you guys know. look at him, from, <laughs> I showed I showed you a reel from yourself like seven seven years ago or something. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. You looked about 20 years older. I was like, damn. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. Yes. Invest in your so health. much better now. Yeah. We were yeah. just talking about that earlier today on the deck. I'm like, yeah. you know, just just the amount of energy. Because I was asking you about basketball. I know mm-hmm. you love to play basketball. And yeah. I'm like, isn't that heartbreaking to not be able to do what you love to do? Mm-hmm. I mean, you yeah. said you couldn't play basketball for years. For years, I couldn't Ugh, play. You know, awesome. I, I had that joint inflammation. That vegan diet destroyed my body, destroyed all my joints. All my joints were inflamed. I was allergic to oxalates and lectins inside the vegetables. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. So I was made the more the more I ate the diet, the the worse, the sicker I got. Leaky gut, osteoporosis, wow. lack of vitamin B, mm. vitamin D deficient. I mean, you name it, whatever you could internal bleeding. I had it all. Yeah, I was yeah. down the tubes. And when you met me, I was just trying to work, figure my way out of it. Right. Mm. And you seen me have some of those. Um, uh, allergic reactions, what do you call those autoimmune reactions where my whole body breaks out in hives and everything. It's yeah. just was so, you know, you were with me still when I was trying to get to the end of that yeah. thing. You witnessed it. It's just like, man. Yes. Imagine living like that for 10 years. See, that's super crazy, guys. Yeah. He lived like that for 10 years. And when I first met you, you were getting rashes a lot. A lot. You were having an autoimmune response a lot. I'm talking yeah. about every other month, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Every in other my eyes, month. in my face, it, everywhere. It just was crazy. Yeah, it, it's wild. But guess mm-hmm. what? Super yeah. exciting, guys. Super Man. exciting. 
No rash. Nothing. Rash free. I've been rash free for a long time. Even no autoimmune when, responses. Yes, yeah. and you know when your your immune system is a little bit down, like you yeah. have a little cold, right. or let's say your your testosterone might be lower. Exhausted. Exhaustion. Things like that would cause you to have a rash. Stress. Yeah. Cause you to have a rash immediately. I'm talking like quick, like you this. You can see them pop out. Yes. She used to, you can watch them pop out of my skin. Yes. Hasn't happened in a long, long Has time. Has not happened, I'm even young. though yeah. you went through all of these things. Yes. This Facts. is a real win, you guys. This yeah. is incredible. It's working. What we're yes. doing is working. It's mm -hmm. working. I'm telling you. Do you have, you don't have that picture of me in here, do you? Which one? The one of me, uh, Looking like uh, like I'm emaciated. No, no, but I think you have it over in Forbidden Knowledge. Just go over there. Real okay. Quick. Yeah, grab that one real quick. Just check check out this photo of, photo of me real quick. You just passed it. Oh. I think. Oh, there was a couple of them. Here's one. This one. Or this. Yeah, one? that used to the by green the green shirt. Yeah, lighter. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Check look at look out. at the look at the comments. Go to check the comments. Check that out. I mean, wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now go back to the photos again and go to the other one from where I was sitting in that room looking all depressed. You don't look like the same person. Does no. he not? He does not look like the same person. No. Whatsoever. Yeah. yeah, you were still doing things, though. You still were living life. I mean, oh, yeah. you weren't. Listen, just, doing, you were still I Billy Carson. Grinding, yeah. Doing videos, going mm -hmm. to do, going on TV shows. I, you know, I'd be I'd be so happy that I would wear a suit because most of those times I was on TV, I would always have rashes on my arms and I want to scratch them so bad, but I oh. couldn't do it because I'm on camera, mm. you know? Mm. So, but yeah, anyway, you guys, guys see. I mean, this yeah. is this is incredible to be able to, to really break through. I mean, that's a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Think about how much mind space that was taking up in your brain. Oh, yeah. When you're thinking about something because you're so worried it's going to happen or you have an itch because mm -hmm. you had rashes all the time, right? For 10 years, like For 10 all, pretty years, much I all was the time. Taking prednisone to keep the rashes down yeah. because the only thing that was clear them up or whole, like suppress them was prednisone, mm -hmm. which is no good for you. Mm -hmm. It's an artificial steroid. Uh, that they give to people for like um, COPD when their lungs are done from smoking too much and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like they take it till they die because that, that's the only way they can breathe. Yeah. But it was destroying my thyroid and my creatine production and my testosterone production and everything you could think of. Uh, it was creating inflammation in the body. It was adding to the inflammation. Uh, so many things were just going wrong, you know, and I just... I couldn't figure out, I couldn't find a way out. You know, finally I started, you know, luckily meeting people like you and some other places. And I was able to finally figure it out over time and cl climb my way out of being ill uh, and come back to life. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about doing these things, we live this, we live this life. Mm -hmm. Like we really live this life. And that, those photos, that's the proof. Yeah. That's the proof. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is the proof. You can go and watch some of my older videos, like on Gaia from like 2016, 2017. And you'll be like, that's Billy? I know. Well, no, you're a clone now, remember? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I'm a clone. Yeah, I'm a clone. <laughs> He's not Never real mind. anymore. Never mind. That wasn't me. It's just that, my clone. He was just his clone. That's yeah. his clone. I'm a cyborg clone reptilian. Yeah. From Arcturus. That talks also. about the same things you've always talked about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the same like mission it. that you've always been on. <laughs> they cloned okay. him so he can do what he was already doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Come on, guys. Yeah. No, and I, I just took care of myself. I got myself healthy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here I am. Yeah. And exactly. every day I'm getting younger and younger mm -hmm. and younger. Mm hmm. So that's goals. Yeah, that's goals. I mean, we over here, you know, reversing age, reversing literally age. reversing age Yeah, right before your eyes because you guys are watching us. Yeah, you are. So go to the older clips. This is true. Even You'll me, see. even yeah. me. Oh, yeah. I continue sure. to get better every day because oh, I'm sure. doing something different know. every single yeah, day, guys. every here. day, every day. I did gymnastics for over a decade, like a decade and a half. Yeah. I mean, my joints and my body is tore up used mm -hmm. to be. Used to be tore up, and I was a chef. I, I used to have to stand for for 12, 14, 16 hours a day without sitting down. I mean, I was getting sciatica. It was like crazy. My leg was going numb. I mean, back pain. I have yeah. generated discs on my left side from gymnastics, and it was compiling into a, a, a trash body. Mm -hmm. I was in so much pain. 
But then I started doing these different things and I got out of pain. Yeah. And when you get out of pain, you feel better. Your brain opens up to more creativity. Mm -hmm. You're able to download more information. Yeah. Because if you guys have seen Forbidden Knowledge, the company has grown Spice. significantly since like three, four years ago. Yeah, it's grown. It's grown right along the path is my health, bro. Exactly. My health, cause it's my health has gone up and the company has grown just as my health has grown. Why do you think that is, guys? Yeah. Because you don't have to think about itching yourself and not itching yourself right. all the time. Right. Your brain is not foggy with all this other like health health stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. A lot of a lot of the space has been removed. And I saw somebody say in the live chat that they said, uh, you know, they can sustain 225 on a vegan diet. That's great. Some people are. Yeah, it works. The for vegan some diet works for some people. It just but doesn't not work for everybody. 100 percent of people. There's a lot of people out there that are getting very sick from that diet. Because their body is not, their biological system is not set for that type of a diet. Yes. And I'm one of those people. Yes. Because you have a sensitivity to oxalates. I do not have a sensitivity to oxalates. Right. My body can take in much more oxalates than your body can. Mm -hmm. Your body will get torn up by those. Destroyed. But I think it's a certain, I, I forgot, so let me not quote this. Don't quote me, but I think it's a bacteria or something some, like a probiotic that you have, certain people have that can break down that That's oxalate. Correct. No, it's a correct. Yeah. People who, uh, who have that specific probiotic or that something in their gut biome, mm. that particular bacteria will help them process yes. high levels of oxalates and lectins more than a person whose gut biome is totally different. Yeah. So my gut biome wasn't processing those lectins and oscillates from the vegetables and greens and fruits and everything else. And so in turn, my body started attacking itself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I lived like that for decades, not knowing it was my own diet that was killing me. Yes. Yes. So it's not for everybody. There's no such thing as one diet for everyone. For everybody. It doesn't exist. And let's not even get into, you know, <laughs> people can feel so, and I guess I get it. They feel so strongly about certain things that have changed their life. Like I feel so strongly about these different modalities that we're yeah. using and these different supplements and stem cells and blah, 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 that we're doing because I'm seeing the benefits. So I'm mm. very passionate about it. Yeah. But let's not get so overly emotional. I notice a lot of people, especially in that one diet that I don't even want to say because I don't want to get attacked. <laughs> but the, you guys are come for me, man. <laughs> like, relax. Let's relax. It's not it's, for everybody. It's not for everybody. I it can say it, I everybody. can say it right from my listen. You listen. You, this is coming from the horse's mouth. I lived it for thirty. I was a vegan for more than most of y'all have been alive. Mm. All right, most mm. and more more you know, longer than most of you have been alive. I was a vegan, and um, it almost killed me. It, the the doctors were surprised that I was still alive. Yeah, I I was alive on sheer willpower from consciousness. Period. Yes. Yes. And to do what I did in that sickly state was already a miracle mm -hmm. because the average person would just be living on government money trying to figure out what they were going to do day by day. I was still accelerating living a decent life uh, and building businesses and everything else, not to the level where it's at now. I accelerated on the growth path of my health, uh, you know, coming back, but uh, with the help of Elizabeth. But I'm just telling you right now. You cannot say this one thing is good for everybody. There are some modalities that she does in biohacking that will be great for her, but won't have that much of an effect on somebody else. It's just life. We're, everything is, we're different. We're all different. We're different. We're, we're freaking different. different guys. Elizabeth can eat tons and tons of red meat. <laughs> I can't do that. Mm -mm. All right. And we know this now because we took these biome tests and we got uh, a kit, a, a, a camp, you know, what do you call that? Um, a bio kit. Um, just basically results, results that show you exactly a what panel. is good for you. Like a yeah. Yeah, panel of what you can eat, what's good for you, what's a superfood, what's not good for you. And you should completely avoid and what's like negative for you. Right. So for me, I can eat kale. I can eat spinach because my body processes oxalates, which I saw someone in the chat. Yes. They cause kidney stones. That's why I asked you if you ever had kidney stones. You did ask me that. A lot of vegans have yeah. kidney stones because fortunate. they cannot process the oxalates. Yeah. If you get an overburden of oxalates in your body, you will have kidney stones. You remember, yes, our, one of our, you remember one of our book publishers when they couldn't get a book published and finished in editing because she had to, she was passing a kidney stone. Oh my God. She's a vegan. Horrible. Yeah. Okay. For people who have kidney stones, Shaka Piedra. 
Um, that's a specific type of plant and it, you can get it in a tincture and it, it's, it's called stone breaker. That's what that means. Shaka Piedra. Mm -hmm. It's called stone breaker. So take that and your, your kidney stones will disperse. Like they'll, they'll break up inside your body and yeah. you won't have to pass a really painful kidney stone. Yeah. Shaka Piedra guys. Um, just a little boop. Um, yeah. So back to light and <laughs> things <Yeah. laughs> affect differently. Just like, just like we were talking about the very beginning of this podcast, you guys, you're darker skinned. I'm lighter than you are. Yeah. And a redhead person will be even lighter than me. So light therapy is not going to be awesome sometimes. Like red light therapy. He's not going to get the benefit as this red hair person was. We're just all different. Yeah, I got to go walk in the sun tomorrow for about 40 to 60 minutes to yes. get my dose. 50% mm -hmm. of my dose that I need for the week tomorrow morning. Yes. This is what we typically do if we're in town on the weekends. We go out in the sun and we walk for miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And I just saw someone ask an interesting question. What about the parasites in seafood and meat? Oh, man. Um, so, you guys, I just did every single possible almost test that you can do on yourself. I had the gut test. Uh, my GI map, which is what is it, what it's called. I mm -hmm. had a full spectrum blood panel, mm -hmm. like completely full, right? Yes, every did. every possible thing you can think of, they tested for. And I did one more. What else? What, what was the other one I did? Oh my god, you did so many <laughs> hormones. Tests. It was a hor it's called the Dutch test to test my to, uh, test my hormones. So what came back? Chemistry said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what came back was um, no parasites. Yeah. Not any type of parasites, which I was honestly worried about it because mm -hmm. I eat a little bit of fish. I try not to eat a whole bunch, but I eat a little bit of fish yeah. and it, like out of the country and I've gotten sick out of the country before. I'm like, crap, I really thought that I was going to have you parasites. Did, you did think you had parasites. You had none. No yeah. parasites, guys. Yeah. And I don't know if that's not because from the food or it's from, I do a lot of ozone therapy. Um, that's, you know, we already did a podcast on that. You guys yeah. can look that up. Ozone. It's probably the ozone. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> Might be the ozone. But <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I would recommend for that is, um, you know, you can do different protocols to get rid of parasites. I mean, there's different herbs that you can take on a daily basis, tinctures and, you know, different things that you can take to be able to lower that that yeah. risk that you may have eating a lot of seafood. Mm -hmm. I don't think I mean, unless you're eating pork, which I really don't eat that much of anyways. I don't, I don't think I've seen you eat pork. No, I don't really eat pork yeah. like that because um, you can get worms yeah. like trick. What is it? Trichomongus or something crazy? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't but yeah, pork. I don't really I, eat pork. Um, I'm not a fish seafood person, really. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I just, I don't. Um, real quick, let me answer this. Darren, can you wear those LifeWave patches while grounding? Yes, you absolutely can. I love wearing my LifeWave patches while I ground outside in the sun. I feel freaking amazing. So yes, you can wear these at all times. Um, I wear them 13 hours during the day and then I take them off when I sleep. I can wear, I usually wear two at a time. I wear the X39 and the X49 yep. or I'll wear the X39 and a glutathione depending on how I'm feeling that day. Um, I might throw in a carnosine patch at night and stimulate, you know, organ health, which carnosine patch does. Um, so it just depends. It depends what you want to do. Um, I also saw another question on here that um, can you can you use the, the patch two times in a row? I wouldn't recommend it. I've never done that. But yeah, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think it idea. would be as as, um, as beneficial and yeah. effective. Yeah, it won't be as effective. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you wear the patches while fasting? You absolutely can. You can wear these patches at any time, any anyway, time. because it's only your own body's light reflecting back into itself. Right. Like nothing's going to inhibit your body that. Emit, your body is emitting light 24 mm -hmm. hours a day, seven days a week. Yes. A yes. light wave that you yourself can't see. But if you want the evidence of this, put, just put an EEG cap on your head mm -hmm. and you'll find out that you can pick up your thought waves, which are light waves on a computer. Mm hmm. Uh, Microsoft has a new wristband coming out that you put on your wrist and two people can sync the wristband together. The wristband takes the light waves from conscious thought down through the nerves and transmits uh, your thoughts to the next person's band. That person then downloads your thoughts in the band and transmits it back to their brain. So it's a form of, um, uh, what do you call it, T telepathy. Mm -hmm. Telepathy bands are coming out now, wow. but that's all based on predicated on your body sending and receiving light waves. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so you can pretty much do anything you want to while you're wearing these life wave patches. You can fast. I saw someone ask that question. 
Um, fasting is, is great. If you're a woman fasting, make sure you fast according to your cycle. Do, do some research. We can't fast like how guys can fast. Again, there's not enough information about this. It's just like fasting is great. Do it all the time. No, don't do that as a woman because it'll really affect your hormones and it could make your cycle really painful and awful. Screw the cycle yes, up badly all the way. So do some research before yeah. trying to fast you can fast, but fast based on the cycle. Yes. Yes. And, uh, just do what works for you. Exactly. You yeah. always got to just do what works for you. That's what I did. When I finally started doing what worked for me, yeah. my whole life turned around. Mm -hmm. um, one last question. Someone asked about side effects from the patches. The only side effect that you'll get is maybe a little bit of skin irritation from accidentally leaving the patch on for more than 13 hours, which I've done before. I've like slept with it and had it on for like 24 hours. And so you might have a tiny bit of skin irritation from that, but that's literally the extent of it. And you don't even need to because you can put it on your clothes, right? Mm -hmm. It'll still reflect that light back into your body because yeah. it's taking your heat energy and using it to yeah. go I back into your body. I just put one on the back of my neck and, and one at the base of my spine, which, mm -hmm. is, which is on right now. I'm touching yes. it right now. Yes. And that, I never had any irritation, though. No, yeah. no, no. Never any irritation. I never really did unless yeah. I really kept it on for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that wraps up our podcast about light therapy. I hope you guys were able to get a little bit of benefit from that. And let me just make this announcement really quick that Special you guys, you guys are gonna see something that nobody's seen except for me, you, and the producers to your right. show. So we're gonna give you a sneak peek at what's gonna stream yes. at the Regal IMAX theaters nationwide. Yes. Yes. We're going to so, give you a sneak peek. First, are you guys ready? first time it's ever been shown. This is the first time this has been shown, guys. So hold on one second. Oh, Let yeah, you got to switch back. Yeah. Go back to mine. And are right, you guys ready? Are you ready? All right. And go. We all have one question Who are the Anunnaki? The Anunnaki is arguably one of the greatest mysteries of our ancient history and our past. We have to ask, who were the gods? The gods were extraterrestrials. Join me in this grand odyssey and discovery as we seek to uncover the hidden truths of the Anunnaki. By studying the Anunnaki, we truly unlock the secrets within ourselves at the same time. We are the offsprings of extraterrestrials, and that's not coincidence. Hey, right. drop some fireballs in the chat if hey, you guys thought that was hey. fire, because it was. <laughs> Listen, Elizabeth just dropped the link in the live chat. Yes. To all the locations that we will show up live during the premiere at Regal IMAX in Detroit. I believe it's going to be the Imagine Theater IMAX yeah. screen. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in person speaking to you for an hour and then we'll watch the live premiere together. Walk the red carpet, take photos, shake hands, I'll sign books mm -hmm. and then part our ways. And this series is going to be the mag most magnificent, magnificent cornerstone series for yeah. forbidden knowledge tv yes. i'm really so excited about it it's going to be in regal cinema imax first and after that maybe about a month later it'll air on forbidden knowledge tv exclusively yes. so we want to see you in person come out and meet us take some photos on the red carpet all right bring your books if you have them i'll sign the books mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a one hour lecture and also a question and answer we'll have a q a yes. session yes after each live premiere in yeah. person which right? is good because you guys are going to probably have questions about the show yeah so you guys are going to be able to answer get your questions answered mm -hmm. right there on the spot and did yeah. you see how hyped that is like yeah. I, I i'm freaking blown away <laughs> i can't wait <laughs> i can't wait to see this, this i mean i was there but i went you yeah. know just the final product is right. like whoo man it's gonna man. be fire <laughs> so you guys see the flow of it now i mean it's different it's not like yeah. i mean i'm not knocking ancient aliens but it's not like a, a normal ancient alien type show i mean right. this thing is did you see you were standing in front of a Stargate? <laughs> right. Standing, I come out of I walked through a Stargate walked in the actual series. Stargate. And what's interesting you'll find is I'm showcasing all of the races that are talked about in these ancient texts. Mm. 
that you're going to see all races of these Anunnaki beings, depictions of them. You'll know what they look like. And it's going to be an amazing series. Yes. And so I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. whoo, it's going to be amazing. Um, also on that link, you guys, is the other little things that we're doing, not little, but the things that we're doing this year, um, you have a workshop coming up with Paul Wallace. Yes. Um, from Australia. I love Paul. He's such a great guy, beautiful mm -hmm. family, amazing person, full of knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. So that one's going to be really, really awesome. Also, also um, in Detroit, we are doing a VIP meet and greet. Uh, Billy me and Courtney Kane Sides, who is a psychic medium that has a podcast on our podcast network. She will be there too. And that's going to be very, very intimate. Only 50 people for that, guys. So this will sell out very, very, very quickly. So if you want to join us in Detroit the day before the premiere, we will be doing that VIP meet and greet. And it will be very intimate. Yes, we'll get to talk to every single person in that building. Yes. There will be a Q&A. Billy will be doing an extensive lecture and I'll be answering questions about biohacking. So yes. it'll be a live Q and A with me. You can ask me anything about your health. And if I know the answer, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've tried, by the way, over 90 different holistic modalities mm -hmm. to enhance my mental, spiritual and physical health. Yeah. So I think I, I'm pretty versed book. in a, yeah, all in my book. Get my book. The recipe yep. to elevated consciousness too, by the way. That's right. <laughs> yes. All right. Great show. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Biohack Your Best Life. I'll be back on Monday with Just a Gem, my podcast I do alone. And I actually have a very special guest from Detroit, Michigan, that's going to be joining me. And uh, we'll be talking all about financial literacy and business. So can't wait for that. 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Monday. I will be back with Just a Gem. And Billy will probably pop up again very, very soon. Yep. Sooner than I'll that, be probably. back very soon. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. All right, peace. Peace, I love. peace. <laughs>